Okay. Hi. Uh, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Glenn. I'm the service engineer from Zen Imaging Singapore. Okay. Our company basically is a German company. So now I'm going to share with you what are the advantages of pulse fluoroscopy. Okay. Conventionally, fluoroscopy is in the continuous mode. So what does the continuous mode have? So as you know that the camera display usually is 25 frames per second. Okay, so each fluoroscopy frame is displayed for 40 milliseconds. So the calculation below, you can see that in one second, there's 25 frames. So as you do the calculation, the display time for one frame is 40 milliseconds. Okay. What are the disadvantages for this continuous fluoroscopy is that any movement will cause the image to get blur. Okay. So this is how the continuous fluoroscopy, the diagram shows. Okay. So in pulse fluoroscopy, X-ray generator actually pro produces a series of short X-ray pulses. The pulse fluoroscopy can generate 25 pauses per second, but each pause can be very short in time. With pulse fluoroscopy, exposure time ranges from 4 to 30 milliseconds instead of 40 milliseconds in the full continuous fluoroscopy. So this in turn reduces blurring if the patient moves. So in pulse fluoroscopy with 10 milliseconds, one pulse is 10 milliseconds, right? The MA is increased by the factor of 40 or 10 milliseconds to deliver images of similar image quality, having the same dose, but less <clears throat> motion blurring. So in fluoroscopy procedure, right, where the object movement is high, post fluoroscopy still offer better image quality at the same average dose. So you can see from this diagram, it shows you what are the difference between continuous and pulse fluoroscopy. So as a pulse fluoroscopy means, right, there's different pulse. So for this, we have variable pulse rate. You can have one if there's no, if the procedure is an extremity procedure where there's no movement, you can have one pulse per second, which you save those. So you don't need so much those. So we have a variable of one pulse, two pulse, four pulse, eight pulse, up to 25 pulses per second. When pulse rate is changed, the frame per second of the camera is also changed. So it's actually tally with the, with the frame rate of the camera. As the frame rate is 25 frame per second. So for 12.5 pulses, you actually get 12.5 frame per second. So 12.5 pulses per second, which reduces not only the, the temporal sampling, but also the radiation dose by a factor of two. So it's half. So now here you will see that what are the difference between the continuous fluoroscopy and the pulse fluoroscopy. As you can see that the pulse fluoroscopy still can get the best image quality, but at the lowest pulse, lowest dose. So that's a dose saving in such a way. So now you can see that when during movement, if movement in the, in the procedure, as you can see on the right hand side, where the continuous furrow, the, the wording, the numbering are blur, but as for the pulse fluoroscopy, you can still see the numbering clearly. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, this is telling us uh, what's the difference between uh, our CM and our competitors. So, our competitors are still using the continuous fluoroscopy. Whereas we, we strongly, strongly push for the ideas of the pulse fluoroscopy. And this monomer idea has been shared by 
uh, the previous speaker. Okay. Basically, with this monoblock technology, right, you will have a better image. Okay, we have for Zim, we have three uh, systems who are also having this powerful scopy technology. Uh, that's all for my. Thank mm -hmm. you.